Forza Horizon 6 is in development right now. There's no question about that. I think it's going to be a game changer. I think Forza Horizon 6 is going to have a bigger step up than any Horizon game so far. That is kind of to be expected. What can we expect from Forza Horizon 6 and why do I think that it's going to be the most different Horizon game with the most customization that we've ever had? Let's talk about that now. The first thing that people want to know about Horizon 6 is when is it coming and the answer to that is we don't know. We can make educated guesses by looking at what's happened in the past. If we look at when Forza Horizon 5 was announced it was around June 2021. When did Horizon 5 release? November 2021. Now a recurring theme with releases is the previous game, so in this case is Forza Horizon 4, the major updates always stop before the next game gets announced. Forza Horizon 4 had its last big update in November 2020 coming up to the Christmas. After that, you know, January, February, April, they had updates, but there was no like huge features that just wasn't big updates worth talking about. And that was when June came along and Horizon 5 was announced. So from history, it seems like five, six months before a new game is announced, the updates stop for the previous game. Now we know and have been told that for Forza Horizon 5, many, many more updates are to come. We have heard that very recently. We're really thrilled at how the community reception has been. So I take this opportunity to say, we have plenty more coming. We have plenty more updates coming in the new year, so you've got plenty to look forward to in Forza Horizon 5. We already know we're getting a big November update. We know of several other updates that are to come. So it's pretty safe to say that Forza Horizon 6 is not getting announced next year and releasing next year. Definitely not. But my main point is, what is this game gonna be like? There's two concepts I think this game will follow one route or the other route. Let me talk about them both. The first route is I think it's gonna be a new Horizon game that follows the same kind of concept that Horizon games has followed. You start at a festival, you buy your cars, you can go and upgrade your car, you've got Horizon stories, you can explore the map, we get two expansions, the general concept the game's been following from now. I think the second concept that they might follow is a brand new type of Horizon game, similar to what Forza Motorsport have done, where we get a new Horizon game that is built to be built upon. It's not built and then the next one started, it's built to be the Horizon game. Now there's benefits and disadvantages from each of these concepts. If they just give us a next Horizon game, we can presume it'll be in an area that we've all wanted. It might be in Germany, it might be Japan, it might be Africa. The car list will just be bigger. You know, the Horizon games have only got bigger for car lists. It'll have a bigger car list. It'll have all of the Forza Horizon 5 features from launch. It'll have Horizon stories. It'll have the festival playlist. Also have Forza Horizon 5 features that have been tested for Horizon 6. So there's a few things such as the waterfalls in Hot Wheels expansion. We've not really seen that in any other Horizon games before. It's things like that that they test in expansions for the next Horizon game. So there'll be new stuff like that. Now, if they are changing things up and follow the second concept, like they are with Forza Motorsport, the game might be entirely different in its core while still being a Horizon game. It might just have a mainland and we are getting constant expansions that are added to that that make the game last so much longer. Again, like Forza Motorsport. We'll be able to build from that, maybe own properties. The game will just work in a different way. Do you see what I mean? The car list might actually be smaller because they have worked on it a bit more in depth, exactly like Forza Motorsport. That is the comparison I'm making here. There will be some Forza Horizon 5 features, but not all of them, because again, they are following a different concept. For a game like this, I think we should expect a release date that's later, just like Forza Motorsport had a later release date. There was a lot of years between 7 and the current, Horizon, uh, current Motorsport. So if they are changing how Horizon works, I can expect maybe 2026, you know, a while away. Now, will it be worth waiting the extra time for a Horizon game? I think so. If we go to the suggestions hub of Horizon 5, this is where they're going to get all of the features for, for Horizon 6. I mean, it makes sense. Why would they get it from anywhere else other than where we've suggested them? Do you know what I mean? There is one thing that almost every single person who plays Horizon full stop 
wants more of and that's customization and it's the thing that Forza have really slowed down on they're lacking now if Forza Horizon 6 wants to be the game that everybody wants it to be if it wants to succeed I'm imagining Forza Horizon 6 having insane customization, being able to buy garages. Forza Motorsport have done something, they've dipped their toe into this by allowing you to show your cars in the showroom of the menu. That's a very small dip into what Horizon 6 should be. Being able to buy garages, display all of your upgraded cars, walk around like the Crew Motorfest. The Crew Motorfest is great in terms of that. Being able to own the houses, customize the houses, own the properties, design your own festivals and have insane amount of customization on the cars along with that. That's the dream Horizon game. I'm sure most of us can agree. The issue with this is the current Horizon game just isn't built for that. It's not built with that in mind. Just do you remember how much of a ball ache it was for Playground Games to give us painted brake calipers? It just wasn't designed for that. We wanted that in Horizon 4 and they told us they couldn't do it and we had to wait till Horizon 5. I think everything we want for Horizon 5 isn't really possible and it has to be built from the ground up for Horizon 6 and that's fine with me, it gives me high hopes for that game. If we look at the suggestions hub and look at the highest voted features, they are literally all customization related. Forza Aero is at the top. New Forza Aero is it's just more customization basically. One under that. Interior customization. Exactly, that's more customization. We want custom cars below that. Manual headlights, hazard lights, light bars, fog lights, indicators. We all want that. Customizable exhausts. We all want that. LED underglow. It's a bit chavy, but I wouldn't say no to it. Window stickers. That is an extremely high voted feature even as back as Horizon 3. The only reason they wouldn't give that to us is if it was just too much work. Whether it was too much work for Horizon 6, that's what I'm hoping it isn't. Drag car customization, again, is just more customization. OEM body kits, spoilers choice of OEM wheels. Bearing in mind these are the top voted features on the entire Horizon forums, it's obvious what the majority of the community wants. And I don't see why Horizon, I don't see why Playground Games won't be trying to do this for a brand new game that's built from the ground up, Horizon 6. The only spanner in the works is that Horizon 5 doesn't ever seem to be marketed and said to be a customization game. It's not a game that's all about customization. It's sold as more of a simcade, realistic ish exploration game. It's all about the environment, how pretty it looks, how accurate it is to the real life location. Whereas Need for Speed is more a lot more towards the customization route. They don't really care about the environment as much as Horizon would, but the customization is bang on. And it all depends what the majority of the community wants. The majority of the community is not us. The majority of the community are Game Pass players. And if they don't want all this awesome customization, we're not gonna get it. So we'll just have to wait and see for Horizon 6. I do have high hopes for it. I think it's gonna be a big step up. If we look at where Horizon 4 started and where Horizon 5 is now, it is insane the difference there is. Pop it down in the comment section below. What do you want out of the next Horizon game? Are you on board with what I think? And it's all about the customization and I really hope they nail that. Or do you just want a new game? You don't want any major changes, major concept changes. Let me know, it's a discussion we're going to start having occasionally from now as Horizon 6 is approaching, but we're not quite there yet.